It is so freaking cold. Let's go check out a vineyard. It is definitely a lot colder than I thought it would be <laughs> before I came out here. But um, you know, it's not it's not a bad little spot uh, to be honest. We're actually um, out here, and I thought, you know what? What we're gonna do after the reception that we actually got last uh, last week with the, the release of the the Fresh AF and uh, Unico Yuzu video is um, we thought we actually just might make this a bit of a thing. Um, you know, we reckon um, you guys might actually like to, to check out a little what's actually going on uh, around uh, the Adelaide Hills at this time of year. And, you know, I guess what goes on in a vineyard in the middle of winter? Well, let's, let's show you around. All right, well, that was quite the hike. Oh, I suppose I'm putting on those ISO pounds has Probably not really helped me that much. But um, we're actually at the top of uh, what I would say is probably one of my, or easily, one of my favorite vineyards in the Adelaide Hills. Uh, this is actually what we call Talc Hill. So this is, um, all this behind me here is actually all Nebbiolo. And is at pretty high altitude. We're, we're sitting above, around about 500, 510 meters above, which for, you know, I guess our European, uh, friends that that might be watching this channel is uh, it's not altogether that high but in, in South Australia in particular it's actually pretty high it's pretty elevated and especially in the Adelaide Hills which is a much more cooler cooler climate you can see behind me at the moment it's uh, incredibly luscious incredibly incredibly green at the moment we've just been having such a, an amazing amazing wet season but probably one of the most I guess interesting things that um, uh, that's happening well, especially up here and I haven't seen it look like this before in a while. This is pretty awesome to see. But behind me is probably one of the most amazing native scrubs that um, I've actually never seen it look as good as this. It's one of those a testament to native uh, plants and, and flora and uh, how, how resilient they are. But when they get that tiniest lick of rain, it's absolutely incredible. We really wouldn't usually see this at this elevation, but um, it's like a forest behind there. It's fantastic. But uh, at the moment, I guess out here in the vineyards, it's pruning time. It's actually uh, cutting a lot of the, the last season's wood, retaining a couple of buds. And in particular, especially when it uh, comes to, to Nebbiolo, they do a type of pruning called cane pruning, uh, which has really got a lot to do with its fruitfulness and vigor. And can, you know, finding a fair balance in between the, the two to be able to get it to succeed. But um, yeah, this is, if for those who are familiar with our, I, I guess our pastafarian, this is the vineyard it actually hails from. And, uh, Man, firstly, I am so incredibly impressed with you. Let's um, let's show you a bit around the place, hey? Was that I'm definitely glad to be inside the cab though now for for those uh, <laughs> those northern hemispherans uh, that uh, that they might be trying to the channel uh, we're not really talking that cold we're talking about you know one to two degrees uh, Celsius um, uh, at the moment which uh, you know for a you know, us Aussies we're warm-blooded creatures guys uh, we definitely feel the cold. It's a bit uncharacteristic, but uh, I think mean, it really surprises a lot of people when they come out here is actually how cold it is up in the Adelaide Hills, particularly in winter. And that's probably the reason why we can grow, uh, you know, so much amazing Nebbiolo out here. And, and then we've got some Barbera, 
uh, around as well. And, uh, you know, indeed, uh, even sparkling wine uh, across the Adelaide Hills is actually very, very impressive. But uh, you know what? Now, it's actually really interesting. I want to know your take on this because um, myself and the team, we, we um, were really quite um, humbled by the amount of interest that, uh, that you guys actually showed, uh, showed us with the last, last video we put out. And we thought we might do this once a week where if you have any questions, and, and it could be anything, literally it could be about business, uh, you know, what's it like in the wine business, could be about Unico, could be about alternative varieties, could be about viticulture or winemaking, could be about uh, uh, gin, distilling, and, and, and all the above, and we thought, you know what, we will uh, throw them all together, and um, and we'll uh, we'll answer them at the uh, at the end of the week uh, in one of these, so uh, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments, uh, or send us an email, jump on the website, uh, or and of course, jump on all the, uh, the live streams that we're doing on, on Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday and Friday, but uh, it has been, whilst it's pretty quiet out in the vineyards at the moment and uh, we're doing a lot of, you know, it's, it's, it's pruning weather, really, uh, so it is pretty monotonous, very, uh, very rewarding, but very monotonous. Uh, back in the winery, of course, last week we had the release of Fresh AF, we had the release of Unico Yuzu, and uh, this week we've got, um, uh, we're actually employing for three new roles, which is, it's immensely exciting because we've always been a pretty close-knit team, pretty tight team. But uh, now we're actually get the opportunity to bring in, you know, more people on uh, and uh, and go through the rigmarole that is interviews, uh, which has been been uh, keeping us incredibly busy. But uh, we do have some really, really fun stuff uh, planned for next month. So, uh, you know, stay tuned and uh, I guess we'll catch you uh, next Friday. Cheers, guys. Have a great weekend.